Hi, everybody. It's Kelly, your Solar System Ambassador. And I'm back with another Cosmic Monday quick chat for you because there have been some really exciting things happening in the space community, and I wanted to share them with you. Let's start with both of the launches that happened last week. I have some of my fancy slides, so let's go to those right now. Finally, finally, last Wednesday on June 5th, NASA and Boeing were able to launch their Starliner spacecraft to the International Space Station. It was a really good launch. Everything went fairly well, except for once they got into orbit, they noticed that there ended up being a few more helium leaks in some of the valves of the thrusters. If you remember just a few short weeks ago, they had a helium leak which delayed one of the launches, but unfortunately a few more leaks have popped up. So currently NASA is working on that issue while it's docked at the International Space Station. But don't worry, astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore were not in any danger at any time during the launch. And once they got to the space station, there was a short welcome ceremony from the Expedition 71 crew. And so Sonny and Butch have now settled in for their extended stay on the International Space Station. They will be returning to Earth on June 18th, and I'm sure that's going to be a very exciting landing. Speaking of launches and landings, the very next day, SpaceX launched a fourth test mission for their Starship spacecraft, along with their super heavy booster. And it was finally a successful launch and landing. It was very, very exciting, especially the last few minutes, um, but we'll get to that in a minute. And this particular test flight, which was number four, um, there was not a plan for it to land back on ground, so they did a splashdown in uh, the ocean off the coast of Mexico. But as I said, the last few minutes were nail biters, but all the other test objectives of the launch ended up going quite well with launch and the booster separation and the booster returning and doing a controlled burn and landing in the ocean. So. Um, the Starship uh, coasted for about 30 to 40 minutes in space, and then they uh, decided to turn it around and have it come into the Earth's atmosphere for also a controlled splashdown in the ocean. However, if you see the red arrow here I have in the photo, this particular section on one of the flaps, now there are several flaps on the vehicle that help steer and contr control the way it flies. Well. When you're coming back into the Earth's atmosphere, a lot of plasma build up, builds up around any spacecraft. That's usually how they, um, it's sort of a braking mechanism when you're coming back into Earth's atmosphere to slow the spacecraft down. And this is just an incredible time that SpaceX can put cameras on the outside of the vehicle so we can actually watch that plasma build up. It gets incredibly hot. And on one of the flaps, well, <laughs> it caught fire. And if anybody who was watching the footage live, it was an absolute nail biter. I was watching it with my friend Kenny, and we were just beside ourselves with how much it just looked like a sci fi film. It just looked absolutely incredible as this flap caught fire. Various parts of the flap and the spacecraft started to disintegrate and fall off. And I think everybody, including SpaceX, while we were watching, pretty much thought that it was going to be a goner and blow up and that would be the end of it. However, I'm calling it the little flap that could. It held on for dear life. Most of the flap you can see in this photo was destroyed, gone. But it managed to help control um, the spacecraft for a controlled landing in the ocean. So uh, SpaceX is considering this a complete success. Unfortunately, again, they had already previously decided that they weren't going to recover the, the vehicle, um, but it was just an amazing thing to witness firsthand um, that the way they built it, it still held together, but just barely. Um, and I have some of that footage for you that I'll show you in uh, just a minute or two, because it really is uh, very, very exciting. 
that it worked. So SpaceX is already um, planning their next launch, which is going to be very, very soon. And um, I believe they said they're even going to try to catch the super heavy booster when it comes back. Instead of a uh, splashdown in the ocean, they're going to try to um, bring it back to land. So fingers crossed if that actually happens. But again, this was a successful fourth test flight for Starship and their super heavy booster. Well, that's all I have for you right now for this Cosmic Monday quick chat. Um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about what's going on in the space community, please feel free to reach out to me. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care. We're hitting the thicker part of the atmosphere now. The speed's going to start dropping precipitously. We're going to start getting to, to transonic pretty soon. And then after that, we'll get into subsonic where we're, we're moving less than the speed of sound. But wow, what a light show so far. External temperatures are starting to come down. Again. This camera view is looking right at one of the, the forward flaps. And we're, we're strategically putting some cameras around the vehicle to just look at the, the different areas. Yeah. Looks like we got the flap starting to come apart a little. Yeah, it does appear that we have a little bit of burn through there. We can see pieces of the vehicle flying off. What a show it has been. It's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> This is wild to see this, but the ship is still coming down, which is incredible to see. <laughs> How far can it go? That is the question. Keep your eye on the altitude in the bottom right-hand corner. We're at 54 kilometers right now. Now, ultimately, the data is the payload today. We've been saying it multiple times. We're the, you know, our teams are, are sitting, uh, reviewing this data live, learning where the hot spots are, as you can see, there's an obvious <laughs> hot spot there with the flap, um, and learning how we can improve this design. The goal was to get as far through this high, uh, this high heat re-entry as possible. Ideally, we'd love to make it all the way down and perform <laughs> that, uh, that landing burn and flip maneuver, but we may not get that far today. We will see. Again, this is a test. And we are gathering as much data as possible, visual data as well, which we can see here. We are getting a lot of debris covering the camera on your screen, but we can still see some of those sparks and flames from that high heat as ship is making its way back down to Earth. Ship now at 50 kilometers and closing. The good news is we still got, oh, looks like that camera lens just cracked. <laughs> It's safe to say ship's getting a little beat up, but that's to be expected on a test flight. We are still learning how to improve the ship for total survival and recovery of the high heat reentry. Over the ocean, all this data is incredibly important. Even if, uh, you know, it breaks up right now. Okay, we can see that flap actuating through the glass. Okay, the next milestone will be initiation of the flip maneuver and landing burn. So splash down. These fireflies are such a good <laughs> sign of life right now. <laughs> we wish we could see more, but we'll take it. Starship is at two kilometers of altitude, terminal velocity. Landing burn start up the Starship. Starship is in landing burn. Landing burn shaking. The, the landing burn shutdown was commanded.